Hey guys, in this quick little video, I'm going to show you how to quickly link to MP3 files. This could be also be used to click to any media file types. It could be MP3s, it could be waves, it could be video files like QuickTime files, like H.264 files, what have you. It doesn't really matter. This is not for playing in your web browser, but it just gives a quick way for people to be able to watch the content you want to send to them. So, I've opened up the products page and I've just wrote this text. Click to download the Barry White Parody MP3. And that's what it is. I want the code with you. So um, we actually did this internally here at Killer Sites, but it decided, you know, I can't play it because, you know, copyright issues. Anyway, so if you go down into the properties bar here and you got, make sure you got the HTML selected and uh, just click this link wheel, click and hold, see I'm holding. And use this mouse over the file you want to link to. In this case, I want to code with you. Just let go. And you see that Dreamweaver automatically creates our link for us. So I'm going to control and save this page. And uh, you know, I want to preview this in a browser. But just in case you haven't set up browser preview, Dreamweaver has this great feature where if you just hit the F12 key, the default browser will appear with this page. Now, you say to yourself, well, why do you have to do it? You can see it here in Design View. Well, Design View, though it's a pretty good approximation of what you're gonna see in a web browser, it isn't really a web browser. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit F12, and you can see your default browser will launch with the page that you just created. So if it doesn't, what you wanna do is you wanna go into Edit, Preferences, Preview in Browser under Category, and you want to select a browser that you want to use as a preview. Now you can select multiple browsers and put them in, in order. So this is my default browser. You know, with Firefox, there's an alternate browser. So a secondary browser, I just click secondary browser. And that would be Control F12, right? So if I hit F12 key on the keyboard, Firefox will launch. If I, because I selected primary browser. I, now I, I selected IE Explorer. And because I said make it the secondary browser, I have to hit Control and F12 to launch that. Now, how do you add these browsers? If you don't have browsers here, you can go to the plus symbol. You can give it a name. So I'm going to call it um, you know, Google Chrome. So assume I had Chrome installed on this. So I have to go to my program files. I would have to find the browser's executable file and then select that. So if I go into, uh, where would that be? Internet Explorer, see if it was Internet Explorer, again, I just select this, hit open, and I would tell it primary, secondary, whatever I want, and I hit okay, and it would appear in this list. So that's how you do it. If you want to add a default browser, if you hit F12 and your browser doesn't pop up, then you just go in here and you can set this up for yourself. So let's go back into that browser preview, and here it is. So I've linked to the MP3 file. So I'm just gonna click it, and you can see in Windows, this dialog box is going to pop up and it's going to ask you, do you want to open it with your default media player? And a lot of people just go OK and the media player will launch and the MP3 file will begin to play. So here you go. So I want to call with you and we're uh, ready to go. The other option, if somebody clicks, they can actually save the file to disk and then listen to it uh, anytime they want. Again, this is uh, not necessarily the most elegant way, but other times it's very useful. Sometimes people, if you're uh, distributing your podcast, it's just easier for everybody concerned, not just you, but your uh, web visitors, to just link to your MP3 file, and then they can just download it themselves. You know, you don't necessarily need to have a in-window audio or video player. And as I said before, this works just as easily with movie or video files as it does with MP3 files.